Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hey, it's Tim Van Orden in Los Angeles, Studio City to be exact. I'm at Sun Cafe on Coanga Boulevard, right next to Universal City, and I'm hanging out with Steve Factor, Pure Energy Factor. Where is he? There he is. Pure Energy! Yes. Woo! Yes. And he's getting his Pure Energy right now from the Kale Colossus. Yes, this is one that Herbert Shelton would be turning in his grave right now with this food combination. So this is this is the epitome of food combining right here. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> this is what not how not to combine food if you're into that. But it works well with me. And it's delicious. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, we've got Larry here. Larry, what are you eating? Lettuce leaf raw tacos. Beautiful. Yum. Okay, so that's like a, is it like a beef or chicken? What are those tacos made out of? Chorizo. Chorizo. <laughs> Our chorizo is made from Brazil nuts, sun-dried tomatoes, and lots of spices. The lettuce tacos. Delicious. I don't care if you're not vegan, or not raw, it's not like, oh, this is a vegan raw version of a taco, but it's not as good as a taco. This is amazing. Like, it's like Carl's Jr., if it's not all over your face, it doesn't belong in your mouth, kind of good. <laughs> Tell me about the restaurant. Is it vegetarian, vegan, raw, a combination? We're, we're vegan and raw. Roughly, almost everything, there's only like three items on the menu that cannot be made raw depending on how you order it. We, we try and be a little mainstream for a vegan restaurant in that we want to appeal to meat eaters. in and out is across the street and we love to get the in and out people occasionally wander in here and they still love it. Do they come here for dessert? We've had that. Now, on your sign, do you advertise that you're vegan or raw? We do not. Which I think is really smart. We advertise that we're organic because almost everybody wants organic food. Nobody has a, an issue against organic. And that's kind of a, a sign to vegans and raw food is food, organic. I bet they have some raw and some vegan. Tomato. So we didn't want to scare away the meat eaters because I'm really about getting people from in and out to and vegan. Yeah, to, you know, I want them to, you know, see the difference and that it doesn't have to be boring. That's the worst. It's like they think it's alfalfa sprouts is all they're going to ever eat again. And we want them to realize that, you know, cookie dough pie and kale shakes and, you know, mint shamrock shakes. Hold on, hold on. Did you just say cookie dough pie? Yes. I didn't hear a thing you said after that. <laughs> <laughs> and shamrock shakes? Shamrock shakes made what? out of spinach. Wow. Yeah. But like it's a truly a dessert. We actually our kale shake one is the best smoothie in LA. Do you sweeten it with high fructose corn syrup? Uh, no. Because that's plant-based, that's nat that's a natural, it comes from a plant, True. so that's good for you, right? Uh, unfortunately, corn syrup is full of uh, uh, corn? mercury uh, and GMO corn. So what do you sweeten the shamrock shake with? Uh, it's either dates or, or agave. So if you're in Los Angeles and you're looking for a date, you can come down here and find one. You can have all the dates you want. Yes. <laughs> so the people that come from in and out right. what they don't realize is that when they eat there, the burger goes in, but then it takes like a week before it actually comes out. Exactly. So this is the real in and out. They have because zero right back there. Yeah, so the next morning this food is coming out. So this uh, you know, quite frankly with raw food is it's a couple of times a day. Exactly. You're getting so much fiber that you should be getting. My favorite thing is people think it's bizarre to be a raw foodist. You know, that it's, oh, that's so radical. My answer is, how many species are there on Earth? 1.8 million, roughly. How many eat cooked food? One. Who's being radical? Nature clearly wants you to eat raw because all species eat raw. 
Yeah, but how many species have iPhones? <laughs> That's true. See, so those other 1.8 million are just stupid. <laughs> I'm really grateful that you've created this restaurant and you've made it available to people and you, you don't limit it and scare people away and I think that's, that's wonderful. That's one of the things we wanted to do is make it, our, our, our initial mission was purely we want it to taste so good that no one feels deprived for eating healthy. That was the number one mission. When a meat eater or standard American eater comes into the restaurant, what do you steer them towards? Is there any item that you're yeah. going to say, try this and you're going to be happy with it? I mean, like the Kale Colossus is great, but I think that's a little too scary. This is what I would steer them towards, the nachos. Nachos. Because it tastes as good or better than a normal nacho. And uh, we So use, it's nacho, average nacho. It is not nacho, average nacho. In fact, nacho. what's funny is um, we found out that Fox News in, uh, did a story on it, and we didn't even know it came up. And uh, Bill O'Reilly came in here and was well. <laughs> what they did was it was Super Bowl Sunday, just pre Super Bowl Sunday, and they were doing the most bizarre nachos in America. And so we made it onto the most bizarre nachos. In wow! America. You need to invite Andrew Zimmerman in here to do an episode of Bizarre Food <laughs> and give him the most bizarre nachos in America. Yes, that's right. And see what he thinks. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd also steer him towards the shakes. We have the kale shake, the mint shamrock shake. Um, uh, our pad thai noodles are really great. That's a raw dish. Um, got a lot of flavor to it. Um, we have some great sandwiches that can be made raw. And uh, we make our own raw bread. And we make pretty much everything from scratch. I mean, we make all our own sauces, all our own cheeses. You know, it's, there's only a couple things in the whole restaurant that are not made here from scratch. You heard it right there, Sun Cafe, Studio City. If you're anywhere within 150 clicks of Los Angeles, come on down, check it out. It's amazing. And it's full of cool people. Look at these people. Awesome. Love these guys. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so Ron, are there any famous celebrities or athletes that eat here at the restaurant? Uh, yes, there are. Um, uh, the three most beautiful women in the world, according to surveys, are Mila Kunis, Olivia Wilde, and um, Megan Fox. They all eat here. And uh, we've seen George Clooney, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, Anthony Hopkins, and many others. But um, uh, I'm working on a documentary called Raw Machine, and it's about athletes and their um, their lifestyle, and so many of them have turned to a vegan diet. Uh, for instance, Martina Navratilova credits her tennis ability to play and win Wimbledon and as a doubles partner until age 48 because she was a vegan. And she says, I couldn't have done it without that. But uh, most of the greatest women tennis players of all time are all vegetarian. Billie Jean King, Chris Everett, Martina Navratilova, and both Williams sisters. Do the Williams sisters come here? They eat here quite often. So not only is the amazing food a great reason to come to Sun Cafe, but great celebrity sightings. <laughs> you never know who you're going to see. You might see Steve Factor. Arr!